Dinner for four experienced the shift to Unreal Engine 5 with the overdue 6.5 update. Discover the ravenous appetite of the Ceratosaurus, a predator and scavenger capable of gorging itself on decaying corpses to inflict devastating bacteria infected wounds. Immerse yourself in the aquatic realm alongside with the Bipilosaurus as it breaches the water surface with grace and dives for prey along the riverbeds, unite your flock and sprint across the plains as a Gallimaeus, the embodiment of speed and fitness. But be aware, when night falls, the horde stirs. Trondons are cunning predators armed with venomous strikes that leave their prey vulnerable. Hello everyone, my name is Burning Wiki and welcome to my channel. And yes, finally, after months and months of waiting, update 6.5 of the Isle Ephrima is now finally here. And there are new dinosaurs and a lot of changes to the game. I will now discuss the most interesting ones, but if you want to read all the changes, then please visit the Isle on Steam and the, all the update notes are listed there. <laughs> First and foremost, the Isle Ephrima is now in Unreal Engine 5, which means it will look a lot better and more pretty, which is always very good. Now, what else did they change? The additions, they added playable Omniforce category, added a Bipiosaurus, Ceranotaurosaurus and the Gallimados and the Triadon are now all playable classes. Added foraging mechanic to the uh, Bi and the Galley added unique bleed modifiers to all the attacks as well. Added Dryo dodge charges instead of consuming its stamina. So there, this is one of the new mechanics. The old version of the game, if you uh, try to ram another player, it will cost you more stamina. But now it is in charges, which is a separate cost to the stamina. It will change the whole dynamic of fighting other players. It will remain to be seen if this is better than stamina or not. Uh, they added the new graphics settings in the menu. They added new skin colors for the Carno, the Hipsy, the Predaton, the Omniraptor and the Tento. Yes, more options, more color variations. You can make more customizable dinosaurs, which is a great. Added support for individual lag fracture regeneration. So it heals only if you rest now. Added sounds to the Hipsy hatching animations, added new die fast water walking animations, added blood impact sounds to the patchy alt attack, added diet bleed resist to malnutrition. So you can now eat specific foods and as a buff it will have a bleed resist which is very good right that that is a nice buff to have added the pretanadon left and the right skimming animation when turning added a new omni launch animation loop and added full damage to the mud um, they also added a different hint for not being able to swallow if the amount of food would cause you to vomit which is really nice because when you grab a piece of meat and you swallow it and then you go over the 100% stomach you would immediately throw up everything right and then you have to find the soul drug and it, oh my god so now the game will warn you like hey if you eat this you're gonna vomit because it's way too much food which is a great new mechanic added timer notify state on grab animations for herbivores bounce points to crabs and frogs added their missing animations missing animations to goats and rabbits so they added a bunch of new animations uh, enhancements updated all carnivore diets prevented dichosaurus from sprinting when holding a character when it's launched 
in land so they kind of nerfed the die so you can no longer smell other players on the water and you can no longer run with another player in your mouth you have to walk back to the water which totally changes this uh, this attack mode doesn't it it gives uh, you more chance to escape or your friends to help you to escape right so uh, yeah this I, I kind of like this because, you know, the die would just grab you and then run as fast as he could back to the water and drown your ass and then you were done, right? So now you get a little bit more of a chance if he grabs you for far away from the water, that is. If you're, if you're just standing there drinking water and he grabs you, you're lost anyways, right? So this is when he grabs you a little bit more on the shore, I guess. They made the salt lick remove vomit debuff over time instead of all of once. Allowed input release to interrupt the ability. Allowed to dry dodge when carrying something and adjusted bucking stamina damage to decrease based on pouncer growth. So it now depends on how big you are when you jump on somebody, uh, if they can throw you off faster or not. They set the dive to be knocked down to immune so you can no longer ram a die this is i guess to balance it right so because they now have to walk with you in their mouth back to the water so now you cannot ram them and knock them off their feet again uh, anymore which is uh, you know they need to balance the game somehow uh, they said the changes to the patchy headbutt regarding head fractures against the carnal charge. So uh, what this means, I guess, when a carnal rams a patchy, they changed it. I'm not really sure how they changed it. But I'm guessing because the Carno is heavier, he now wins this engagement. I'm not sure if anybody knows, put it in the comment section, please. Uh, prevented players from pouncing a target that is already launched. So when your body is already on top of somebody, you cannot join him in that anymore. Made the Tento tail attack hitbox extend below the ground to make the attack more reliable. Update it and add a few more pounce points to the dinos. Adjusted Carno charge hitbox with. Uh, yes, this was really needed because sometimes you got charged by a Carno and then he would hit you while he was not even near you. So I'm guessing they made it smaller and not wider, but they made it slimmer, which uh, is a very good thing because sometimes I was screaming at my screen. Uh, he didn't even was close to me and he still hit me like how is this possible the hitboxes are off i'm very glad they adjusted this now they increased the schooling fish hit chance to a hundred percent so i'm guessing when you're now a predator done and you're flying over the flying fishes you now get a fish every single time and i guess they did this because now you have two types of dinosaurs in the water of which one of them can actually jump out the water and grab you so um, that's why they did that I guess they updated the deer vocal sounds they adjusted the deer vocals volume and adjusted the footsteps volume they slowed the deer IA sprinted speed and this was a real problem when I was a little omni predator or omni raptor or Utah as people call it and you just started out and you see the the deer in the distance and as a little baby Utah you ran and you kept running after it and kept running after it and you couldn't catch it you absolutely it was frustrating and then yeah you could attack a pig but then a pig would most likely kill a baby Utah so spawning in as a baby Utah you always needed help from some other Utah or be lucky and find some food somewhere because catching a deer was a real problem uh, because you're so small it was very hard to catch 
rabbit as well so i'm glad they adjusted the movement sprint speed of the deer now they disabled the hipsy spit for hatchlings so i'm guessing hipsies can now lay eggs and i hope they buffed him a little bit because the hipsy is a nice animal to play with but he's already really small you got him full grown you didn't even need to grow him but apparently uh hatchlings is now a thing they reduced the knockdown duration from 2.1 seconds to one second and this is a game changer this totally changes the game when a carno rams you or a tenno hits you with their tail you're no longer down for 2.1 seconds which seems a eternity to get back up and run away for your life now it's just one second this changes fights for sure reduced food amount received from schooling fish as a dino as a die i should say and they also implemented some balancing issues and staggers staggers removed from all attacks except from the following the tenno tail slam the tenno rear kick uh, the carno charge and the patchy 360 attack knockdowns knockdown recovery time reduced across the board night visions have all been changed and adjusted diets of all kind of force have been updated and additional new characters uh, that Carno's special ability charge has been changed the charge hit trace size reduced and the activation cost has been set to 10% stamina cost per second no longer scales with growth and knockdown threshold reduced slightly the movement acceleration rate is also reduced and the sub adult sprint speed scaled is also reduced they really changed a lot about the car now i guess they didn't like that in the test server so now they changed a lot of things the die has also got some changes the spell special ability is now a launch recovery time of the launch stagger is increased substantially uh, the sprinting disabled when holding a character on land and the water sense will now only detect players on the surface of the water so if you want to flee from a die and you are a little die and faster you can now go underwater and try to swim away as fast as possible he can no longer track you but there is still the problem that i had all along and that is there are not a lot of things on the water you can hide behind or uh, underwater caves and there is there are no big lakes so once a old die is chasing you and wants to eat you there, there is literally no other escape than go on land and run away and sit in a bush for a while um, they need to address this in a future update there needs to be a lot more junk on the water logs big rocks maybe some underwater caves uh, some lakes here and there big body of water so you have the space to actually get away from other die and other predators the movement of a sub adult speed has been a decreased for a die uh, hunger also has been changed it consumes food faster resulting in it needing more food to be sustained so the die got more hungry so i'm guessing uh, a lot more die will go cannibal a lot faster and i thought this was already the case i mean every die turns cannibal sooner or later and they just cranked this up so this will be very very interesting for die players then we go to the dry uh, special ability is now dodge no longer uses stamina instead it uses charges so it is the same change as the other dinosaurs max stored charges is set to two and then you need to recharge them and the charge recharge timer is now set to 10 seconds so you can now dodge twice and then after 10 seconds you can dodge again so every 10 seconds basically you can dodge that is and there is a cooldown of 1.5 seconds so now the turn rate cap has been increased the hipsy also got some changes the default turn rate has been increased the 180 percent turn rate has been increased and the turn rate crap has been cap i'm sorry the turn rate cap has been also increased 
So the patchy special ability is ramming. Tap knockdown threshold has been reduced. The tap ram stacker threshold has been reduced. Held ram knockdown threshold has been reduced. And held ram stacker threshold has been reduced. So it has gotten a lot of buffs. And I thought um, the patchy was already a bit overpowered in this regard. But I'm guessing it's all balances out now with the new dinosaurs. The Omni Raptor or the Utahs, the spell special ability is now pounds which it always was the stamina damage against moving targets now scales with growth so the bigger they are the more damage you do if you pounce them and a pounce miss animation has been removed the turn rate cap is being increased Stecos, uh, bucking uh, stamina damage reduced. So when you throw players off your back, that damage has been reduced, which doesn't really matter because you throw them off your back and then you immediately tail swipe them to death. So I don't think that is a big change. The Tento special ability tail slam, the tail slam damage has been reduced. Oh, why did they do that? I didn't think it was that powerful to begin with. I'm guessing it all scales with the rest. And the bucking stamina damage has also been reduced. And there have been a lot of bug fixes, but I'm not going to go through the bug fixing list because it is really, really long. I'm not going to go through them because it would make the video about two hours long. If you want to read all the update 6.5 notes, then go to the Steam website for the aisle. So what do you guys think about update 6.5 so far and what is your favorite new dinosaurs did the die get nerfed too much is the game still well balanced let me know in the comment section if you want to support the channel then all you need to do is hit that like button and subscribe my name is burning wiki and i will see you all next time